Hey guys, it's Maggie and I am back today. And today I thought we could talk a little bit about the upcoming year and really plans that I have for myself for my health and really just mental well being. There are some steps that I've been thinking about for the past few months, things that I really need to get taken care of with my health. And they're kind of a bit overwhelming to me and difficult for me to get done. But these are steps that I really wanna take, not just to help with my Crohn's disease and uh, my mental well-being, but really my reproductive health as well. And that brings me into today's sponsor. I've talked about this in the past, but I've had a number of appointments when it comes to dealing with Crohn's that either I feel like I'm not making any progress or I even feel like I'm going backwards. I've shared stories of either like not being heard or even believed or leaving an appointment feeling so overwhelmed with the treatment plan that I'm like, I can't do any of it, it's too much. When you're only seeing your provider once, maybe twice a year, you're having to pack in a whole lot in a short amount of time. And that has always left me feeling like there were things left unsaid or needs unmet. And one of the things that I really have struggled with over time with this disease is eating, you know? getting nutrients in. It's a struggle when you have funky intestines. That's why I wanna introduce you guys to Well Theory. Well Theory is a platform built by autoimmune patients for autoimmune patients like us. They offer science-backed nutrition and lifestyle coaching. As you work with Well Theory, you'll receive continuous and personalized care from a team that really understands the complexity of your autoimmune illness and how it can impact so many different facets of your life. After completing an online health assessment, you'll be paired up with a practitioner who can really empathize with your illness and they'll provide you one-on-one -on -one support through video and messaging. Your team will help you with small manageable changes, which is something I definitely need help with to improve your nutrition, your sleep, your stress management, and even relationships. Well Theory supports over a hundred autoimmune and inflammatory conditions and really tailors the care to you. If you're somebody that needs help making small changes to improve your overall quality of life or you feel like you're not being heard by your care team, I highly suggest Well Theory. You can go to trywelltheory.com slash Maggie to get $50 off of your first month and start your journey to personalized care. Thank you so much to Well Theory for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about what I'm hoping the next few months look like. I have let a number of things go over the last few years because life just gets in the way. It has been the most stressful three to four years. Um, I feel like life has just impacted my health so much and I haven't kept up on any of my healthcare management except for like going to my GI doctor because life's been too much. And I'm really trying to refocus and realize, hey, if, if your body's not around, if it's not doing well, then does the rest of life really matter? Like if you're not here to enjoy it. So I'm just, I'm trying to remind myself of that, that I need a functioning body to deal with the rest of life. And that really should be my focus. One of the first things, and I think the most annoying thing that I, I don't want to do, but I have needed to get this done since 2018. And I'm mad at myself for letting it go this long. Zach's done it too though, so we're, we're in the same boat. I need to get my teeth taken care of. In 2018, I found out that I needed surgery to remove my wisdom teeth. Apparently, the root goes along the artery in my jaw and I have to go to an oral surgeon. Like that's the only person qualified enough to take out my teeth. My teeth have been a struggle my entire life. I've always had trouble with my teeth. I got a spacer put in when I was maybe five or six years old. Like I always remember as a kid having this thing on the roof of my mouth that attached to my teeth. Um, and it made eating 
everything hard, which is not a great thing to grow up with when you have Crohn's and you're already struggling to eat and then having your diet limited by whatever dental appliance you have going on. Um, then I got a Mara appliance. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of that. That was the most painful freaking thing ever. That was to push my bottom jaw forward because it used to be like really far back. I had a huge overbite and then I got braces, um, except I don't think the braces worked very well because I've had my wisdom teeth um, poked out for a very long time. They popped out when I was young and I don't have a lot of space in my mouth. So even though I had braces, my my front teeth, I'm self-conscious about it because I know that they're they're moving and they're not straight anymore. And I had asked a dentist about this in 2018 and he said, well, we can't do anything. You just don't have the space in your mouth for your teeth to move properly. Like you need to get your wisdom teeth taken out first and then we can explore options to straighten your teeth out. Um, so I, I, this is my year. I'm going to get my wisdom teeth taken out. I've been afraid of the pain. Um, I hate the dentist. I would rather you cut open my stomach again than touch my teeth with me awake. <laughs> uh, because it's just, Novocaine just doesn't seem to work on me. So I have to be knocked out for stuff or on some good medication. Um, but I, every time I go into fluids, the place that I go to uh, also has my GI doctor and many different types of doctors, and they actually have an oral surgeon there. So I think I'm going to explore that option because I'm already familiar with the campus. I don't need to learn anything new. And um, yeah, I, I've also been afraid of the price. So the first step for me was looking at our dental insurance to see what it was going to cover, and it looks like it's gonna cover 50%. My dental deductible is 1,500. I'm already mentally preparing that this is gonna be a few thousand to take care of, so fingers crossed that it's not terribly, terribly expensive. I'm also just reminding myself this is a one-time thing. I'm really worried about complications like infections and stuff, but wisdom teeth can't grow back as far as I know, so it should be like, get them out, suffer, and then it'll be over and it'll be done. And you just have to get used to the feeling of not having them anymore. They don't bother me, but they do have cavities. They need to get going. Something else, I actually used to be very good about this and I've fallen off with it, is seeing my gynecologist. Um, I actually don't remember the last time I went. It's been over a year though, and I used to be very good about going to my gynecologist. I think because I was having problems, usually you're motivated when you're uncomfortable. And uh, they're in Philadelphia, so it's a little bit of a drive to get there. I think that's kind of why I fell off. And also the person that I was seeing who was super nice and listened to me, I don't think she works there anymore and I'm so sad. It's really important just to keep up on that. So I'm going to make that appointment within the next month, maybe month and a half to get that all situated, get the pap smear, whatever I need to get done. And also it's important to keep up on it because of fertility stuff. Speaking of that, um, the thing that I've been good about the last few years, because like I said, you're motivated when you're uncomfortable and I've had some GI issues. So the thing I've kept up on is my GI doctor. I have been seeing him every six months now and I'm actually gonna see him in a couple of weeks. And I would like to really start talking more with him about fertility, getting pregnant, um, what he thinks of that, what he thinks I need to do GI wise to be healthy for that. If it's something that can happen for me, again, I don't know, but I really want to make sure that he's aware that that's my plan. Um, it's not just like being in the best condition for pregnancy, but also making sure whether or not I can do that. You know, it's been three years, nothing's happened. Um, but you wanna be healthy for however you do have kids, whether it's adoption or not. You don't wanna be unhealthy and have children, no matter how they get here. So um, that's a conversation I'm going to have. I'm gonna write it down before I go in. I'm gonna write my questions down so I don't get overwhelmed and nervous like I often do. So yes, that is something I'm going to do. And finally, the last thing that I wanna do is go back to the fertility doctor. I did contact them about a month ago 
to restart, but we found out that we would have to have another initiation appointment with the same doctor. So it's just like planning and scheduling that um, because Zach's out of the house a few days of the week. And then we had a road trip and things got busy, but um, there definitely is that pressure of being 30. And I know I shouldn't think like this, but it feels like time is running out. And I think it kind of is, it kind of isn't. Um, but there definitely is that pressure of, you're 30, you don't have the healthiest body, how much time do you really have? I have time. I think I have time. But, with fertility stuff, because it's already known that I can't seem to get pregnant, like, I've never had a positive test, so clearly there's something going on there. Um, it takes time to do the tests and potential procedures to help fix things if, you know, something is wrong with me. I always get these comments anytime I bring up the fertility doctor of make sure Zach's getting tested too. And I want you to know that that is, that is part of it. Generally, because I talk about my health on here, I'm just mentioning what they want to do to me, but the doctor had a whole list for Zach too. So do not worry. They're covering both of us. So these are the things that have really been on my mind the last few months. Things that, you know, life does get in the way and it can get you behind on stuff, but I really don't want that to permanently be the case and just feel like I'm always playing catch up with my health. And I also think a part of mental well-being is checking those things off your list. I hate the calls. I hate the appointments. I hate the pain that often comes along with some of the things that I need to get done, but they need to get done. And the relief afterwards of feeling like I've checked something off my list is worth it. When you put the work in and you get it done, you feel really good afterwards. And also having well theory to kind of help fill the gaps of when I'm not seeing my GI doctor and I feel like I need help with nutrition and eating and things of that nature. I think it's all going to come together really well and set me into 2024 really good. <laughs> Let me know if you struggle with getting some of these health things done that you know they're routine or maybe they're not routine. Maybe it's a one-time thing like the wisdom teeth, but you really struggle to just get them done. And let me know the steps that you're taking to help check them off of your list. Uh, thank you again to Well Theory for sponsoring this video. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.